Seven three, the Phillies do win. The Phillies are in first place despite all the stuff that's gone on with them. And Bryce Harper, look, he struggled. He had a great, you know, first week, right? He hit a home run in the upper deck. He wore the Philly Fanatic socks. The fans were into it as they should be. But last ten games, he has slumped miserably. And the irony is, if you look at it right now, his numbers are pretty much exactly as they were last year. I mean, they are almost to a T. Exactly. Obviously, the home runs aren't there. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of his average on base slugging, it's, it's all right there. And I'm curious, Frank, look, we knew you're going to get booed in Philly when you're not performing. He's not performing. But is the honeymoon officially over? No him, doubt. Really? And you just said it. The, the numbers are the same. Last year, first half, he was awful. He did not have an all-star first half last year. And they expect that after thir signing a 13-year contract. Trust me, they booed Santa Claus, they will boo Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper's got to come with it every day in that ballpark, play with his hair on fire, use the whole field. Once he uses the whole field, he'll get back to being the hitter that we all know. And Frank, I, I will give Harper some credit, though, for a couple things. Last night after the game, he says, hey, I would have booed me too. You go back to the previous week when there was the issue with Arietta and Harper getting ejected and Jake saying that we need to have Harper in the game. And Bryce said, hey, yeah, you're right. I have to be in the game. So he has handled this scrutiny exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. And to your point, Kevin, he is, to, bar to borrow the phrase, mm -hmm. who we thought he was. Last year, in, in, according to Fangraphs.com, 46th in baseball, 46th among position players in wins above replacement. Now, wins above replacement doesn't tell us everything. Mm -hmm. But what that says was he was not one of the best 25 players in the game. Now, he was paid like he was, but the statistics said that he was not. So that's the challenge, Frank, to, to continue to be true to himself, mm -hmm. maybe be 20% better. But this basically is, Kevin, as you said, the player that he was last year. And another, another point, you know, Arietta, you know, kind of jumped on him after that New York Met game. It was unnecessary for me this early in the season. I think they really should have got behind closed doors and, and talked it out before you get it to the media. And I think that's, that's pulled them down a little bit as a team. Uh, Gabe's going to get in there and get those guys and work that out. I want to go back to your actual the, the, at the plate uh, thing, though. So you talk, you, you've been on this for two years talking about Bryce Harper being pull happy. This year, he's pulling the ball 56% of the time. That is by far his career average. I'll give you an idea, when he won the MVP, he was at 48% mm -hmm. of the time. He was more of an all-fields hitter. Why? What's going on there? It's just for some reason, that short wall, he wants to go deep. Watch his hips. His hips is clearing before the ball's halfway to the plate. Bryce has got to stand on pitches and get the ball get deep, and he'll have much more success. Just like Cody Belgian this year. He's letting the ball get deep, and in that small ballpark, he should let it get deep because there's that it's such a small ballpark that he can home run any part of the ballpark at any time. And Frank, we saw it tonight, and, and that it was a great illustration that you had there. The Tigers attacking him away. That's what's going to happen now until he proves the teams that he can do that. And Kevin, as you pointed out about how he used to play coming into the league, in 2012, he hit the ball to center or left basically two-thirds of the time. Now it's basically only a third of that that he's, that he's going to center field or the opposite way. It's been a huge change. Mm -hmm. The metrics say it and our eyes say it. And until, Frank, as you point out, he can hit that outside pitch, that's what he's going to see from just about every team from now until forever. The guy's a monster. You don't have to pull. This guy's got some of the biggest power I've ever seen from a hitter. Stay centered in the middle of the diamond. He'll have tremendous success in that small ballpark. Uh, to your point, one thing to wrap it up. He has been smart and measured with his quotes. Just ask Ricky Waters for who, for what, right? I mean, first game as an Eagle, <laughs> like that, that stuff gets remembered forever. He's got 13 years worth of quotes, so he's, he's towed the line there very nicely. Now they want to see the production for Bryce Harper.